Hi, it's John coming to you from Phoenix, the soul of the Southwest. And today I'm going to be showing you around a destination that has a little bit of everything from city lights to mountain trails, gourmet food and more. Here we go. The perfect 48 hours in Phoenix, Arizona. The perfect trip needs to begin at the right hotel. Our choice is the Point Hilton Tapatio Cliffs Resort. Set back from the downtown amidst the Phoenix Mountain Preserve, this resort property is just far enough away from the action to really relax. Every single room is a suite and there's more than enough space to spread out. If the furnishings don't impress you, the views of nature from the balcony will certainly do the trick. You can even start your morning off walking one of the multiple hiking trails located right next to the hotel, or better yet, take a dip in the water village. On your first day, I recommend eating a buffet breakfast at the hotel. Make sure to order an omelet from the on-site chef, Team Adriana approved. We're in Fort McDowell, 45 minutes away because a trip to Phoenix needs to include this gorgeous scenery. We're doing something really unique, segueing through the desert. You'll see. You're not riding segways through the mall for your first morning activity. Try the Sonoran Desert and Cowboy Wayne isn't your typical instructor. As comfortable on a horse as a Segway, this cowboy runs a tight ship and he's gonna make sure first timers figure out all the intricacies of how to Segway. This is one of the few places in the US you can do this outside of a city, so admire the cacti and feel that fresh air as you zip on by. You'll even learn about some of the plant life around you. Did I mention how tough Cowboy Wayne was yet? This is one activity you've got to try. Right, get it up. If you're anything like me, you don't need lunch to be a fancy affair. And Lucy's at the Orchard in Phoenix is just the place to eat an affordable, healthy meal. But since this is the perfect day, we're also eating at a historic ranch house. So combine history with great food and a little ice cream, and we've got a lunch to remember. Remember what I said about the beautiful scenery? For today's afternoon activity, we're gonna be admiring the Sonoran Desert from 5,000 feet above ground in a hot air balloon. We're going right for the bucket list. Hot Air Expeditions is going to take you above the desert like you've never seen it before. Start by watching them inflate that giant balloon, which is pretty exciting by itself. Then let the captain do the rest and you'll feel like you're effortlessly floating above the earth. It's an experience like nothing you've ever tried before. Take as many photos as you can because you'll want to relive this again and again. After your landing, you're in for some surprises like a champagne toast, some light bites, and an incredible sunset which pairs perfectly with that bubbly. Phoenix has some of the best food in the Southwest, and for your first dinner, we're going to a place that was rated not only a top five cocktail bar in Phoenix, but a top 10 downtown restaurant as well, Breadfruit and Rum Bar. If you're a fan of rum, you're gonna be in heaven. Their drink menu is even sorted by appetizer, main course, and dessert for cocktails. We're giving their pepper shrimp and roasted plantains with mango dip an A+. You can't go wrong with any of the entrees, but I recommend stopping here at a minimum for a cocktail that will be tough to forget. We had a busy first day. This morning we're going to be concentrating on downtown Phoenix and the Phoenix Public Market Cafe is the perfect way to get started for breakfast. This cute looking cafe is a local favorite and for good reason. The breakfast portions are absolutely huge and if you just want something sweet, you've come to the right spot. Enjoy this meal because we've got a busy day planned. Yesterday we explored the outdoor beauty of the area. Today, we're gonna to show you that the city of Phoenix is more than just a desert. We're taking a pedicab tour to show you the sights and hidden gems of this place. 
Billy is a Phoenix legend, and a tour on his chariot is going to get you acquainted with everything you'll need to know about downtown. Funky street art, check. Hidden hole in the wall bars, check. Awesome hair, check. I learned more about the history of Phoenix on this tour than I ever thought I could. This guy's an encyclopedia, pun very much intended. My favorite stop was Roosevelt Row, where you'll see some of the best street art in the United States. I highly, highly recommend this tour. For lunch, we're going somewhere unique. Bites at the Churchill is a spot that is literally made from repurposed shipping containers, and this sustainable hangout is home to 10 local eateries. Our pick is Provecho, a Guadalajara-themed Mexican eatery. Having spent time in Jalisco, both myself and Team Adriana thoroughly enjoyed our carne and su jugo and birria. The food was so good, we even preferred it to the ones we had in Guadalajara. And coming from a Mexican girl, that's saying a lot. Make sure to enjoy some Mexican Coke as well. This afternoon, we're in Scottsdale and we're gonna be exploring some beauty, but this is actually man-made. Let's check out Taliesin West, an architectural gem by Frank Lloyd Wright. Wright's winter camp in the desert foothills overlooking Scottsdale is a must visit when you're in the Phoenix area. Perhaps America's most famous architect, he spent every winter here until his death in 1959, and it's still an active school for architecture students. His organic architectural style is well displayed, and it's amazingly upkept after all of these years. Tour everything from where he hosted guests to his own private theater, you may even leave his estate feeling inspired to create something. Normally, I'm not one to suggest eating dinner at your hotel, but the different point of view restaurant at the Point Hilton is a place worth bending the rules for. For one, you can't find many better sunset views in Phoenix. Pair that off with a cocktail and we're off to a great start. Step inside the restaurant, you'll be greeted with friendly service and even better cuisine. We split some rosé wine along with short rib and filet mignon and it was delicious. Take some time to digest because we've got one stop to go. For the grand finale, we're gonna show you the desert like you've never seen it before. Let's check out the Desert Botanical Garden. This 140 acre garden feels a bit like Alice in Wonderland. Their electric desert display runs from October to May, and I guarantee you've never seen cacti like this. From psychedelic looking colors to a synchronized hilltop show, prepare to be mesmerized and impressed. This is truly a work of art and the perfect cap to an incredible two days in Phoenix. And of course, the entire itinerary is linked down below in the description. Make sure to subscribe if you're new to this channel. Thank you so much for watching as always. Until next time.